this way and I'll bring four strips up this way and we're just going to keep continuing that process. It's a pattern. It doesn't take long and you're going to keep manipulating these uh, so that they do um, stay at right angles. So let's finish this up and, and uh, I'm going to show you what your next step is. Here we have our completed woven base of our basket. We went seven strips across and then we went nine going the opposite direction. Um, so that was 16 strips total. The next step you're going to do is to make sure that you can maneuver um, and get these all set up so you have a fairly good rectangle going on. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and pin those ends, the corners, to your stabilizer. Because I want you to take that to the sewing machine, and I've done this already, edge stitch around the outside strips. One more time. And if you can, land right on top of your previous edge stitching that you did. That's going to keep it looking nice and neat. So you're going to edge stitch all the way around, and then bring it back. And as you can see, I have this is actually sewn right on down to the stabilizer, so it's still holding it all in place. We're going to tear that stabilizer off the last thing we do. So what I want you to do is to put pins in all four corners. And then we're going to take four more of our longer strips, we haven't cut them all in half, and decide which four you want going up the sides. So now we have to put our strips going around the sides of our basket. Which four do you want and what order are you going to put those in? So I'm going to start with this one. To determine the right length, measure the outside edge of those strips. Measure all four sides. Just don't go this way and this way and take it times two, just in case you're a little wonky. We're going to measure all four sides, get that perimeter, and add a half an inch for seam allowance. I've done that. Mine were like at 29 inches and then I added half an inch. So I cut this, this strip to 29 and a half. I still have the Peltex or Craftex inside of that to give it that body. Put a pin in each corner attached to your foam cord and then we're going to wrap this around those pins just like this. And we're going to start that whole weaving process. Now you'll notice this strip is under the opposite strip, so that one's going to come to the inside. This one is on top, we're going to leave it out, and then this one will come on the inside. And we're going to alternate those under and over just like that, all the way around. See how handy it is to keep it on that foam core and around these pins. We're going to do this all the way around and we're going to keep doing all four loops, rings, whatever you want to call that, um, going up. So we would go around, then you are going to add your next one, and again, if it's on the outside of our basket, it's going to come to the inside and we're going to keep coming up and go all the way around. I hope you can start to see how this is working. Now if you run into trouble, you can always get some clips out to hold those strips in place as you're going around. Go ahead, about every other one, maybe place a, a, a clip and that's going to help you um, hold things together if it's starting to bother you that it's, it's getting a little wild on you. So go ahead, feel free to use those clips with those rings as you go around, and you're going to add all four rings all the way up. So here we have the four rings loops attached now to the sides of the basket. And what I've done, as I've gotten to that top, I've added, as you can see, a lot more clips. If you don't have clips, you can certainly put some pins in there, because you're going to want this secure. We're going to take this to the sewing machine. I'm going to put a pin in here just to show you it can be pinned. Um, and we're going to take it to the sewing machine, and what we're going to now do is to stitch the base strips 
that are now coming up the side to that very top loop, to the top ring. If you want, you can go ahead and tear off the stabilizer at this point if it's in your way. You can leave it for the end. We don't really need it at this point. Before you do go to the sewing machine, I want you to tug up on those strips, make sure they're straight, push those loops down so you have a nice nice tight weave, not too snug, it's okay, you don't want it bunching or anything. Now this is going to be a lot of manipulation at the sewing machine. You're going to want to use the open arm on your sewing machine, so pick that machine up out of the cabinet, throw your sew study table to the side and use that um, open arm. You're going to want to put that in there just like this and sew across the top edge right on top of your previous edge stitching and as you're going go ahead and tug on those strips make sure they're taut going down the side and edge stitch all the way around when you get that done what you can then do is to trim off our top edges and I just took a scissors nothing nothing special about that trim off those top edges so you now have a nice straight edge at the top of your basket. Okay, so here's an example of another basket. We have stitched around that top edge and we've trimmed off um, the sides, the, the base strips, so that is all nice and even. All we have left to do now is to finish these edges. And to do that, we're gonna apply a binding. To measure your binding, we're going to go ahead and Take a tape measure around the outside edge and measure that. I did um, a diagonal seam on my binding, so then you're gonna want to measure around and add two and a half inches. Sew that diagonal seam, much like I've done on this one. Make sure you have, um, it's a loop and it's not twisted. And then go ahead, before you sew it on, Wrap it around and see if it's the right measurement. If it's too big, too small, that you can make those adjustments before you trim your seam off here. This one I have done. I've stitched it to the inside. Again, using my open arm, so you might need to turn it inside out. You can do that. And then stitch around so that those edges matched up. I put it on the inside first because when I roll it around to the outside, I'm going to stitch, top stitch on the outside and it's going to look nice and neat. And um, all that's left then is to edge stitch right along here at the base of that, of that binding, much like you would do any other binding. So we're going to edge stitch that in place. At this point, if you wanted to add a handle to the basket, like I did with the Easter egg basket here. Let me bring this in again. Choose the size of the handle you would like um, and cut that in place. All I did was insert one end into the weave, the inside weave. You can see I've got it tucked in right in here and tucked in here. And then I just stitched it in place on the outside. That's gonna secure that. It doesn't need to be anything. Uh, major for that for that uh, securing those in place uh, but uh, that's as simple as it as it gets so here are some fun um, baskets to make oh one more thing I wanted to say uh, you do want to probably as you're sewing this you're going through some pretty thick layers get yourself a heavier needle and I used a bit of an extended stitch from, most of the machines are set up to do a two and a half. I did between a three and three and a half inch stitch, not inch, but three, 3.5 stitch, and uh, a denim needle. Um, if you can adjust the pressure on the presser foot so that you're going through some thicker fabric, you, you'll have some better results as you're stitching around here. So that is one tip. When I got done, I did take this back to the ironing board and give it a really good press that's going to help reset that craft text, that peltex, and I even creased the corners a little bit. Just take the iron right across there so that helps square it up. You can see this one's a little bit rounded. I haven't done that yet, but that'll help give that a little crease on those corners and square that up. I hope you've enjoyed this little Easter basket woven, I call it my tisket a tasket a woven Easter basket. If you would like the pattern, just contact me here, right here at Neal's Vacuum and Sewing Center. Um, we can get you set up. Just $5 a piece. Keep on stitching.